I go by the name Curtis King. It's not my real name. My real name is Curtis Kovac. It's a Hungarian name from uh, Cleveland, Ohio in the U.S. And I've been out in Asia for about 27 years now. Uh, about 10 years in China, a couple years in Singapore, Vietnam, a few, 15 years or so. And I'm in, um, I'm a musician. I play harmonica, guitar, a couple other instruments, sing occasionally. I moved to, uh, to the lot about 10 years ago to pursue the idea of rebuilding this train line that used to go from Dalat to Topcham, where there was a junction with the main Hanoi Saigon train line. Um, I love trains. I've always loved trains. When I was a little kid, uh, we lived uh, within hearing distance of the, uh, the trains, and we used to have a steam train that would go through our beautiful national park in Cleveland. And at, at night, we would hear the trains, and I always liked trains since I was a little kid. And I had the opportunity to, uh, to drive trains in, in the U.S., China, Vietnam. So, so this story might be about trains. The train line from Topcham up to Dalat was finished, I believe, in 1935 or 1936. And the railroad company of Vietnam constructed, say, 10, 11 of these French-style villas in the 1930s for the, uh, for the employees and the managers to, uh, to enjoy their summer holiday or any holidays. Uh, they're, they were originally constructed in a uh, colonial French style. Some of them were um, destroyed or demolished. We have been involved in rebuilding or refurbishing uh, five, six of these, uh, these old villas. What we're doing with this currently, we're, we're operating this as a um, hotel, a number of villas uh, with a um, beautiful, we're sitting in a 1910 or so French freight car. My wonderful wife refurbished this, this train car. It was uh, in a um, very poor condition in uh, Xi'an in uh, Binyung province, sitting in the, uh, the train yard there. And we brought it up by truck to Dalat um, on the highway from Saigon about three, four years ago. And she rebuilt it, refurbished it into what it is now. Uh, it's become a tourist attraction. It's rather strange. I, we, we live here at one of the villas, and it's rather strange to wake up every day and live in a tourist attraction. It's a meeting place. Trains are wonderful places to meet people, where when you sit next to somebody on a train, at the end of the journey, you become usually friends. So this is a meeting place for people all over the world, Vietnamese people, children in particular. Kids walk into this place and they, their eyes light up. And I, I'm a big fan of trains and I would like the next generation to have trains. And I'd like the kids to see this train running because I had that opportunity as a kid to, uh, to drive trains and ride on trains all over the world. And we hope that kids have that opportunity. Thank you.